30 November is the International Day of Remembrance for all the victims of chemical warfare. According to the United Nations, the use of chemical weapons against civilians anywhere under any circumstances is a violation of the international law. This is what was mentioned by the UN's General Secretary. 21 of August 2022, the Syrian Network for Human Rights issued a report on the ninth anniversary of the largest chemical use against civilians in Damascus in the year of 2013. The attack on the two quarters of Damascus resulted in the death of 1,144 civilians, including 194 women and 99 children. The Syrian Network for Human Rights documents a total of 222 chemical attacks on Syria, which resulted in the death of 1,510 individuals. نزلت على الحارة أول ما نزلت شفت جارنا أبو أيمة ماسك المحرم في إيده وعامله هيك ما بيرجيف صرنا نسأله هنيك العالم صرنا نسأله أبو أيمة أشوف في شباك ما يرد علينا طلعت شفت أخوي كمان نفس حالة حالة أبو أيمة وبارك في الممر كأنه بدي وصل للمغسلة يغسل ما ما هو ملحية شلنا أول جسي وشلنا الثاني جبت أخوي وحطيته كمان معهم بالسيارة ووقتها فقط الوعي ما بعرف شو صار بعد Ahmad is one of the people who witnessed the chemical attack on Khan Sheikhoun, the southern countryside of Idlib in 2017, and lost a father and a mother and two brothers. He told us from his own story how he witnessed his neighbors and his family dying in front of his eyes without any ability to help them. واحد عمره خمس سنين وواحد 12 سنة. You were with Sarah Swyvers, correspondent in North Syria.